All across the country, veterans and volunteers are walking miles for Carry the Load. The organization has spent the last decade helping civilians understand the sacrifices that so many service members and first responders have made. Kevin Reese spoke to one veteran in Texas about how the walk is helping him work through guilt and keep his friend's memory alive. Allen has been the epicenter of grief this month. It already was for the family of a U.S. Marine. He was hit by an IED in Ramadi. Tyler Trevilian, buried in Allen, and gone now for 18 years. Deployed together to Fallujah. Josh Lewis tells the story of his friend and fellow Marine to anyone who will listen. I would just say this, you know. We met at Flagpole Hill at White Rock Lake so he could tell Tyler's story again. The survivor's guilt was, was a big issue for me. Now, every time I get to tell my stories, it... it it, um, it helps me continue to heal. But he tells Tyler's story not just to help himself heal. He talks so that it might help someone else too. Josh Lewis is an ambassador for Carry the Load for a dozen years now reminding people what Memorial Day is really about. And in those years, CTL amassing a network of nonprofits dedicated to helping veterans and their families. Another thing we say around Carry the Load is, is you have two deaths. Your first death is your physical death, and the second death is uh, when people forget you. So once again, so that we won't forget, that message is being spread by cross-country relays, marchers covering all of the lower 48 states and arriving Memorial Day weekend at Dallas's Revershawn Park, walking in memory of Marines like Tyler Trevilian and the four others who died with him that day in Ramadi. Marines Jesse Jamie, Chad Maynard, Jonathan Flores, and Dion Whiteley. So I still have my down days, and walking and talking and telling their stories helps me feel alive and helps me realize, okay, I still need to live for those guys. The reality is Tyler died, and he doesn't want me to live in sorrow for him. He wants me to live in honor of him. And the invitation from Carry the Load is that the rest of us do the same, especially this month, in a place like Allen, so that names, sacrifices, and service live on. In Allen, I'm Kevin Reese.